Welcome back to Hermiting with Holly and Susan. And we are still in the same place where we were the last time because, you know, we batch these. It just makes life easier. Right. right. And if you notice, I've got my hand up. I'm moving my mic. Susan says it sounds better. So I'm, yeah. I'm moving the microphone closer to, my, closer to my mouth so you guys so, can hear me. Yeah. So we can actually hear what she's saying. Yeah, it's kind of helpful. All right. So today's question, Holly. Interesting question. What do you owe the real people upon whom you base your characters? Now, I guess first we have to say, how often do you or me actually base a character on a real person? And for me, the answer is hardly ever. Um, I have done, we off camera had mentioned Briar Hill Road. Mm -hmm. It was an homage to my mother-in-law. So in many ways, the mother figure in the book is based on her. In, in, in very oblique ways. In the fact that you know, the character was a wonderful woman. My mother-in-law was a wonderful woman. The fact that she was a loving woman. My mother-in-law was a loving woman. But in terms of details and really being her... As a writer, each character is a real person to me. So she was a distinctly real person in her own right. So if that makes sense. So she was inspired by my mother-in-law, but in no way is she meant to be my mother-in-law. Exactly. So, and that would be one of the closest I've ever come to. I really don't base my characters on real people. And if no. we do, they're more amalgams, don't you think? Where you take yeah. bits and pieces from different people and then you mash them together. So it's not like it's it's not like you're basing it on one actual person. That's a good right. way to get yourself sued, actually. <laughs> Especially if you right. do it. And so I've, I have I've taken things that real people have done that I find amusing. And but those, even at that, I twist, I twist them to the yeah. point that they couldn't sue me exactly. and made it my own. But there's some inspiration there. So, yeah, no, I don't feel like I owe them anything in that. I don't feel like I really base my characters on anyone. Right. Um, and I would also say, even if you did, like, pff, don't owe you anything. I don't owe you anything. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. I don't owe you anything. You know, um, we have talked about literary revenge before as well, which I have been known <laughs> to do. Uh, go figure. But again, it's the same kind of thing. Like, the, 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 the person who buys it in the murder mystery or whatever that, you know, you are killing off because they annoy the snot out of you in real life, you make it so that, like, you're the only one who really knows that that person is that person. So again, and if I'm, if, if I am, if I am subjecting you to literary revenge, there's probably a really good reason. So I definitely don't owe you anything except a gruesome <laughs> death in a novel. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and I've, I mean, I now, have, because I have done, like, the Made in L.A. series, I, I have killed people, but I will confess, I don't think any of them were people based on anyone. There was no one that annoyed me enough that I killed them in a book. Yeah. So... <laughs> My I, my it, most major literary revenge. I didn't even actually kill that person off, but you know. <laughs> and it's funny because that person knows who they are and knows the character that they are in the book and laughs about it because they're like, "Yeah, I kind of deserve it." So there you go. <laughs> yeah. No. But yeah. So my answer to this is nothing because I don't really do it. Right. And and I feel too that if if you're I mean, if you're writing a biography, that's one thing, but or an autobiography. But um, with fiction, if you have not created a complete character that's like real in your head, then you're doing a disservice to the book. That that character has to be three dimensional in and of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that if you base the character on someone, that you could ever truly pull it off. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of people who are like, I'm going to write the story of my life, and I'm going to, okay, well, I urge caution. Because, <laughs> yeah, like like we've said, like, that's how you get sued. 
And I mean, yeah, there's a lot of books out there yeah. that are, you know, that are based either. Here's the thing. So based on a true story, inspired by a true story. So you take a kernel of truth and then you go run off in another direction with it. I, yes. No, that's. And, and I mean, it's not like I haven't read like a news article and thought, ooh, that's a. Well, that's exactly. A good Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Again, I actually, it's funny. I'm just, I'm redoing my newsletter. I've moved to a different service, a much cheaper ah. service, by the way. And um, uh, was reviewing what I had because I had to redo them. And in one of them I do, I talk about how um, a family plan, which, you know, recently made the USA Today bestsellers list for the second <laughs> time. You know, um, but that book was inspired years ago by the original savior sibling story that I, I, I saw on the news. You know, I saw that story on the news and I thought, wow, like there's got to be a lot of emotion involved around that. So, right. you know, and so, so, so do I, I owe, do I owe those people? I'm sorry. Oh, it, I, we're definitely having lags here. I said, I think most of the time it's more that than actually basing something on someone. Exactly. So, you know, so I certainly don't feel that I owe those real life people anything. Cause I mean, again, it's just, uh, and how many, how many, even in my newsletter uh, email, I was saying I had watched Chicago med and they had had a save your sibling. Like, so save your sibling story is now like a thing, you know? So, yeah. So there you have it. We don't think we owe anybody anything because we, we really pretty much don't do that. All right. All right. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.